But I don't care what I weigh. I can do better than that. You are killing me. God damn it! What's going on right now, Will? I don't want to do any of this. Chapter 20, Surrender. I began to refer to my nice guy persona as Uncle Fluffy. He was the pleaser in me, the part of me that had to smile no matter how I was feeling. He wasn't allowed to be in a bad mood or have a bad day. He signed every autograph, shook every hand, kissed every baby. But Fluffy was further complicated by his shadow counterpart, the general. When I didn't get the approval I sought, my anguish would express itself as the general. The general's job was to get the flag to the top of the hill by any means necessary and to punish those who dared to dissent. Even myself. Publishers called again. We've tried everything. It's a hard no on pushing the book to next year. I'm sorry, call me. Where's Scotty when you need him? He's eating some crap he shouldn't be eating. He's having a fabulous Chardonnay. <laughs> Everybody here is in better shape than me. I need somebody <laughs> that I'm a little bit better than. What was my weight last week? So we can get this shit over with. I'm supposed to be 205 when I step on this scale for a pound a week. I don't know how many weeks it's gonna take before old boy get his shit together. That's good. Let's see what I'm gonna be, though. I figured it was an up week. God damn it. It's terrible. I've been doing this stupid crap and. I don't care what I weigh today. All right, so that was the first horrendous week, Jazz. So what are the numbers that he was up by? Uh, the weight was up 0.8 of a pound, so it's almost a pound. Um, he had a lot that he was sort of working with this week. Oh, Will, can you stand over here? Can you do this? You can speed up a little, Will? There were sporadic workouts. We didn't do them every day. You know, we can't afford to do that with the time frame we're on either. That was a bad week. Yeah. So this week is going to be ridiculous. 5.15, wake up, weigh in, run, then come back, right down. Then I'm into the bag. <laughs> the first workout. <laughs> and a second workout. No, no, no. Do a finisher just to blow it out. Then I've been doing the writing session. I get it. Luke's done. It's 4.27 a.m. <laughs> now we're going running. Just pacing for tomorrow. Come back. <sighs> and then going to shoot things to make a show. Training. <sighs> Ouch. I only got four hours and 28 minutes of sleep. <laughs> we're good to go? Ready? Get a cold plunge out. <sighs> I don't know where I'm going with this. This whole shit is stupid. Will is somebody who has been so rewarded by the world for putting his head down and grinding and getting the win. The first thing I think as a psychologist in his presence is, how the heck does this guy cope when he's not winning? What's up, man? Uh -oh. 
Okay. Oh man, this is gonna be a mess. This is gonna be a mess. Yeah, so we've organised a uh, 5k race. It's at night time, and he really wants that under 25 minute goal. This is gonna be awful. So we're gonna really work on his mile time to see how close that he can get to that goal. We're just setting a number today to beat later. This is just the first time, and we're not competing with each other. That's the thing. This is not about competition. But I'm gonna beat you. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we start over there. Yeah. There is a line nine meters back from that. That's where you'll start, and then the laps go. All right, so this is, you kind of need to see your lap time to know if you need to go up or down, right? This is here for show. Yeah. Oh, this is here for show. <laughs> OK. <laughs> the guy brought it out. He's like, I don't think it has a timer setting. It's just a clock. So oh, wait, so there's no timer? timer? <laughs> so, there's no timer, is what he said. It's but what we could try and do is maybe put it at zero, 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 and then click it every time. When I was maybe 10 years old, Daddy-O sent me to buy cigarettes. So I ran down the street like any soldier would have done. On my way back, I ran into David and Danny Brandon, who had just gotten this weird new thing called a Nerf football. Jez, uh, this was supposed to be worked out before we were on camera. We should have Amazon ordered one. Well, we'll do that for your better time. Next step. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I got lost in the ingenuity of this extraordinary object. Suddenly, I turn and my stomach drops. Daddy-o striding up the middle of the street right at me. What the hell are you doing? When I send you on a mission, there are two possibilities. One, you complete the mission. Or two, you are dead. You've never gotten one of these, Jazz, but you are killing me. You are killing me. Daddy-o grabbed me by the back of my neck and dragged me home. Most of the times I got hit during my childhood, I didn't think I'd earned it. I didn't think I deserved a whooping for that. All of this is supposed to be set before we step in and start rolling. Yeah. And we're not supposed to step in and start rolling if you haven't figured out how it works. OK, so what if we did a timer on a phone that's... You don't bring a film crew and everything, Jazz, if you don't have everything set up. Well, we were told there was going to be one. Somebody like Will is so relentlessly focused on achieving all of his goals. And so he doesn't consider his limits, whether it's fitness or his book or even filming this show. But the more a person is stretched, sooner or later, they snap. Um. Let's go to, a, uh, go to another document. When Jaden was born, we tried to make sure Trey was involved every step of the way. Trey, we want you to pick a name for your brother. Luigi. He shouted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden and I looked to one another in abject horror, both of us thinking, have you ever met a named Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Writing this book is a beautiful, collaborative, creative process. I want our son to have a normal life, Sabri said. I don't want him bouncing around from city to city, set to set, with no stability. But it's also emotionally draining, bordering on excruciating. I've run into this multiple times, and it's harsh, and nobody wants to hear it. I am an entertainer, and I learned to entertain for my survival. And I will not give it up for anybody or anything. Hey, Will, I know we have a shoot tomorrow, but I really want to get the latest pages over to the publishers tonight, if we can. How you feeling? Huh? How you feeling? I'm sleepy. Yeah. I think the expectations around the show and what it was and how it was to be is really affecting his energy. 
I understand that you've got to entertain people, but at the same time, you just don't want to detract from what it is you're doing. Uncle Fluffy was born as my strategic childhood persona. If I was funny enough, sweet enough, harmless enough, entertaining enough, then I wouldn't be hurt. How are you, sir? How are you? It's a pleasure. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm ready. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, exactly. First up. Fluffy wants to be approved of. It's the only safety he can conceive. I think I'm going to work in hospitality in Dubai. <laughs> Certainly not going to be a cop. I can tell from the first officer. But Uncle Fluffy is masking my true feelings. So the plan is to do a practice run, let Will get comfortable with all this, and then do one more. It's official and timed. Push yourself. Push yourself. See? Open your legs and yeah. push yourself. Yeah. Okay, yeah. again. Good again. Yeah, this, this is uh, nice this is harder than I thought. I can tell this is going to be terrible. Okay. 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 Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. Good yeah. job. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, you got. I, I feel it. Okay. Take a little bit breath, cause this is a little bit tough. Okay. okay. Breathe. Can I just step? Just yes. push your leg over. Oh. Nice. Okay, see, touch yellow. Okay. Touch yellow. And then just go down slowly. Nice. Okay. Perfect. All right. This is my one time around. This is my time, so I hope somebody's timing it right now, because this is going to be what my time is. I got you. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, oh, oh yeah. shit. OK. Good job. There's no version that we're doing this again. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. What's going on? Oh, man, he's looking pretty tired. All right, we're good? No, but if you're Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. The downward spiral had begun. And in this corner came out on Halloween 1989 and flopped hard. Jeff had retreated to his mom's basement. His reaction to the looming winter of our careers was to hibernate. He had turned down a chance to do a show in Africa and a tour in Australia. I was pissed that he was hiding. It seemed like cowardice on his part. I felt like he betrayed me. In retrospect, I could feel the impending onslaught but I couldn't figure out what to do or how to stop it. And I certainly didn't think it was going to get as bad as it did. It's 100 degrees right now, so we're going to run a 5K in 100 degrees at 8 o'clock at night. I want to sub 25, ultimately. That was my goal for the, the, the end of the, the, the training thing, to sub 25. <laughs>
I didn't get the training in that I should have got in, and I didn't eat right. Will didn't show up this morning. Um, you know, we're here making the best of it, shooting some B-roll stuff. Obviously, the idea was to shoot him, but uh, we roll with the punches out here, um, especially on this journey. What'd you just say? No gym today. What, is that what he just said? Yeah, they just sent for a... Uh... How many times has he canceled now? Uh... Like, how many times has he canceled workouts for the show? Uh, I think he... This week's different. I think a lot of the times, like, he's been monitoring, you know, his fatigue. Right. And and so, like, there's a bit of wisdom in, you know, taking rest days here and there, because um, we can, you know, flip the schedule in terms of the days off. But this week, it's not, not about that. I stay ready, so I don't have to get ready, Dex. You got it? Got it. Got it. Do I need to be higher for that light, or we're good here? Good. I'm good down here? All right. Am I looking at you, or am I looking down the barrel? Down the barrel. All right. What are the tensions you need? Tensions? Dramas. Um, the lead tension for me is the, the book. Um, I'm writing my book. I'm writing my memoir. You know, there's a deadline, and it's like exposing my life and um, so many things that people don't know about me. So I think on a daily, um, the emotional exhaustion of mining those, uh, you know, sometimes traumatic experiences from my childhood and from my life in general, um, emoting in that way really saps my energy. What's coming up for you that's not physical? Um, I don't want to do any of this. I'm finished with uh, this project in my mind. The use of this time right here is not valuable to me. It goes against what I want to be doing. It goes against coming in at the weight, and it goes against the, what the whole point is. And I'm really done with all of this, and I don't want shooting it to get in the way. And we blew it. We missed it. It's over, and we got to stop, and I'm ready to stop. I'm finished with the best shape of my life. I want to get in the best shape of my life, and I don't want shooting the best shape of my life to get in the way of me getting in the best shape of my life. OK, we're done. Let's pack it up. Where, where do we go from here? I don't know. I don't know.